Hello everyone, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna show you something that a lot of people have been asking me how to do, they've had a few questions around it, um, and I personally think it's super useful, and that is creating your own Power Apps developer account completely free, or well, sort of. So if you're not aware already, Power Apps basically has a, uh, a developer subscription that you can access for free. Um, so basically you, you have to sign in with a work or school account, and then you kind of have access to your own Power Apps environments. You can build your own flows, apps, those sorts of things. Now, there's quite a few reasons for doing this. And the first one is building your skills within the Power Platform. So, you know, a lot of us want the opportunity after work, during work, etc., to level up our skills, to learn how to build flows, apps, automations, those sorts of things. Um, and this Power Apps developer plan allows you to do that outside of your company email. Now, there's a few benefits for, uh, to this, which kind of gets me onto my second point, but having your own portfolio, your own space to experiment, to work, to learn, is super, super useful because I've personally landed quite a few uh, roles and opportunities just by showing what I can do, and I wouldn't have been able to do that without having my own developer plan. Another reason I want to mention is sharing your knowledge. So I'm a huge advocate for going on LinkedIn, going on um, forums and actually sharing your knowledge in the Power Platform. I think that's an amazing way to get noticed, an amazing way to land better opportunities um, and an incredible way to network. So I definitely think sharing your knowledge is a big part of why you should do this. You know, you can build these apps, automations, experiment, um, and then without, you know, exposing company data, you know, you, you can't take screenshots uh, generally of work you're doing within your company, but you can take screenshots of work you're doing within your own environment. And then you can share them on different platforms and build your network that way. So that is a huge benefit as well. And then finally, when breaking into the Power Platform, a lot of people don't really know where to start. And I feel like with your own developer plan, it's a great way to kind of catapult yourself into kind of working towards um, get, getting a role with within the Power Platform. So, you know, that comes with a few different aspects. It's not just building stuff. Um, there's a lot of aspects to actually landing your first role, but building is a big part of it. Um, and showing people what you can do. So it kind of entangles with the other points that I spoke about, but it kind of sits on its own in the sense of being able to express yourself within your own work um, and then showing that off can, can get you a, a long way forward into landing your first Power Platform uh, professional role. So, okay, I've given a quick introduction. I'm using a new studio, so you're gonna see a lot of cool things. Things are gonna be fading. Um, uh, I've got someone at home editing this, so, you know, I, this is going to be really good, I hope. All right, so let's go to the picture-in-picture -picture mode. So if I do this, amazing. So now there's a million of me, that is great. So now if I come into Microsoft Edge, which is over here, and this is my own personal environment, but if I come up here um, and then I go to other profiles and then browse as guest, you're going to see that now I'm kind of on a, on a guest account. So I'm going to show you completely from scratch how to do this. Um, so the first thing you want to do is type in Microsoft Business Subscription. Now I'll put the official link to this uh, in the description, but what you want to do is select this link. So Microsoft 365 for Business, open that up. Taking so long. Okay, amazing. And then now if we scroll down here, what you're gonna need is this Microsoft 365 business standard um, subscription. So this comes with a lot of benefits, desktop versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, webinars, you know, collaborative workspaces with Microsoft Loop, all of the fun stuff. But what's really cool is it comes with your own custom business email. So if you haven't thought of a name for your business, for your brand, here's a great time to do it. Now, um, you don't have to buy straight away. You can try free for one month, which is what we're gonna do exactly here. Um, and we'll say it's for one person and we can select next. Uh, and then we'll create a new email. So we'll just put having test at outlook.com. So I don't think that exists yet. I hope it doesn't exist because that would be a bit concerning because I don't think there's any many more Howdens. Yep, I need to create a new Outlook. So now it's going to prompt me to create a new Outlook email. But on that first step, you can use your existing Outlook email um, to kind of connect that to your business account. So we'll select set up an account and then it's going to make me do all of this. So just bear with me. Uh, 
like I'm not creative at all today. Uh, one person, no, it doesn't. Yep, okay. Is that good? Does that work? Oh, it's going to make me do this. Okay, so it's going to make you verify. So I think I'm going to have to put my actual number here, but I will blur it out uh, so you can't see it. That's better. So verification code. And now it's going to make me go get my verification code. Where's my phone? I'm just building my Microsoft account. You probably already have an Outlook account. Now it's going to make me... Um, I don't know if that's going to be available. <laughs> uh, all right, let's put a password in. Okay. Is that going to work? Come on, come on. I hope Melons Limited is, is an available name. I am sorry to the Melons Limited company, which probably does exist. Uh, I'm stealing your Microsoft. Hey! Name, but I will delete this after. Okay, so it's going to make you add a payment method. Um, do I want to do that? Okay, that's a lot. So I'm not going to add my payment method, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use that account once it's created, use that company email to create a free Power Apps developer account. So once you've done this, what you can do is you can go to um, a new browser and then type in Power Apps developer plan and press enter. So if I come into where is it? Here it is, right at the top. And if I click on this, and again, links will be in the description for you to do this. What you can do is select start free. And then it says enter your work or school email to get started. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't go to school anymore. Or maybe you do. Um, and I don't want to use my work email. Well, what we just did before creating that business standard account has given you a work email to use. So this is your own personal environment to work with. So what I want you to do is put your work email and then it'll prompt you through a few screens that um, Microsoft will guide you through and then it will unlock your Power Apps environment. So it should look something like this. So from here, you'll be able to kind of mess around, create environments and then just start kind of um, iterating and building on your own solution. So if you want to experiment with something, build your portfolio, do all the fun stuff that we kind of described in the beginning of the video, you'll be able to do it here. So very short video, um, but I think it's very beneficial for people to know this exists. And I feel like a lot of people don't know it exists, um, but it's been incre incredibly beneficial for me. And I think it will be beneficial for you too. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash a like, share it. Um, I'm going to try and create more videos like this more consistently. Uh, I just bought a new setup, a new ring light and everything. So hopefully I'm uh, looking a little bit better than I usually have. But um, yeah. I'm going to sign off now. So thank you for thank you for watching this and until next time take it easy.